will be doing Hey guys, what's up? It's Liz and today I will be talking about something that I did last year. I'm going to be talking about my concert bucket list. This is going to be split up into like three parts. Basically, I'm going to be talking about the artists who I saw in 2017 that were on it last year. And then I'm going to continue to add artists that I still want to see. And I'm also going to include full sets because I've seen like artists, but I want to see like a full set, you know? I have my handy dandy notebook here and let's get into it. It's right here. Alright, so the first, so let's start with the artist that I saw from last year's list. So this year I had the chance to see Panic at the Disco. That was incredible. Uh, he was probably like five feet away from me at one point and then lost my shit there. I saw John Bellion twice. So that's exciting. Love John Belly and I actually got to meet him too and he was so nice. Best hugger ever. 10 out of 10 I do recommend. Um, the next one I saw was a full set for State Champs on their last tour. I, ugh, they put on a great show. That was with Don Broco, um, Against the Current, and with Confidence. Great lineup, great show. <laughs> time low last year no I saw all time low this year I wanted to see a full set then I saw it twice <laughs> I'll actually be seeing it like three times because I also will be seeing them on the 30th of November so that's like crazy that they're coming here for a Christmas show so I'm just like what <laughs> I never thought that would happen honestly <laughs> exciting and I also this wasn't on my list last year but like they should have been I saw Bowling for Soup at Warp Tour and that was a lifelong dream come true <sighs> I gotta see High School Never Ends I gotta see them perform the Phineas and Ferb theme song it was great it was great that I want to see. I still need to see Melanie Martinez. Like, this has not happened yet. You guys know, if you've been a subscriber of mine for a long time, I love Melanie Martinez. I hate her music videos, but I love her music. I haven't seen her yet. That's disappointing. Next is Mooseblood. I was gonna see them earlier, that, or like later, like a few months ago. Never happened, because everyone was broke and couldn't go. That's great. It's like the second time this has happened. Maybe I'm just not meant to see Moose Blood. Someone take me to a Moose Blood concert so I know it's real. <laughs> I hate myself. Next for me is Paramore. I still haven't seen Paramore yet. I've After they released After Laughter, I want to see them so bad. I want to see all of the songs off of After Laughter live. Like, that would be amazing. I could have if I would have stayed another day for uh, Riot Fest, but nope, I'm stupid. <laughs> Love life. Next for me is Sam Smith. I've been on a Sam Smith kick lately. I think it was after I saw him do the carpool karaoke with Saint, uh, James Corden. That is so- okay, I found a new love for Sam Smith after watching that video. Like, I cannot- he is so funny. Oh my god. It's great. I, 10 out of 10 I do recommend. But I love his new album. His voice is just unbelievable and I would love to hear it live one day. Walk the Moon! I still want to see Walk the Moon. Like, I know that they released a new album, I think. I, don't, I haven't listened to it because I'm terrible, but- I would love to see Walk the Moon. I've heard they're amazing live and I just want to see it from my own eyes. Next for me is Lights and that's actually going to happen next year in March. I'm excited. Uh, my friend loves Chase Atlantic and she goes, the next time that they come to Omaha, you're going to go with me. I was like, okay, sure, fine. That's cool. They kind of sound like The weekend. That's fine. She yelled from the other room at work one day. It was like, oh my god, Liz, they're coming with some person called Lights. And I was like, hold up. I love Lights. I'm going with you. So I already bought tickets and 
I'm so excited to finally get to see her live. <laughs> and it's at a small venue, so that's good. Next for me is Jimmy Eat World. I love this band. I have never seen them live. I would love to hear them at least live once. That would be great, honestly. <laughs> Next for me is Lanny. Lanny, Lonnie. Lanny. We're just gonna go with Lanny because I don't know how to pronounce it. I would love to see them live. I love their songs. I love their music. I love the singer's voice. <sighs> their music is its just perfect driving at night music, you know? Next for me is Rare Candy. I actually found this band. I don't know how I found- no! My friend Maddie showed me- I was like, hey Maddie, give me some recommendations on songs and artists. So she sent me Oliver by Rare Candy and I was like, oh my god, I'm in love. Listen to the EP. Love it. It's- Singer's voice is amazing. Rare Candy, love it. You need to check out Rare Candy. They're from Chicago. 10 out of 10, I do recommend this band. <laughs> Next for me is This Wildlife. I still haven't seen them. I hope to see them in the future. That'd be great. So hopefully they come here close sometime soon because that'd be awesome. Next for me is The Gospel Youth. My friend Zach told me about them. And it was like, you should listen to this band. I was like, okay, cool. They were at Warp Tour. Told me the night on my last Warp Tour date. I was like, <laughs> That, that would happen. So yeah, I would love to see the gospel youth. I know they're from the UK, so like, it might be a while until I see them, but that's okay. It just happens to me all the time. It's, it's fine, it's fine. I love their new album, Always Lose. I have it on vinyl. It's great. Singer's voice is amazing. I would highly recommend that band for you guys to listen to. Next is Tiny Moving Parts, and I'd like to thank my friend Mary for getting me into this band. I would love to see them live. I know that they're touring with Knuckle Puck, I think, on their European tour, and I was like, please, just why weren't you on the US one? That would have been great. <laughs> but you know, everything lives out to get me. It's okay. It's cool. It's fine. I can see them next year, maybe. And the next and last one is Ariana Grande. I never got to see her live this year. Never had the chance. I would love to see her live. I would love to see- oh my god. I just want to hear her voice live. So bad. So bad. I just want to hear Dangerous Woman live and I can be fine for the rest of my life. Or into you. That'd be amazing. And for full sets, I would like to see a full set for Nick Deep. And thankfully, I will be seeing them in Kansas on Valentine's Day because that's when they'll be closest to me next definitely be going to that show. Uh, swimmers. Love swimmers at the all-time low show. Would love to see them again. I would love to see swimmers again, but I would like to see like a full set, like them headlining a tour. That'd be great. The next one I want to see is A Day to Remember. I've seen a full set of theirs live. Didn't know a single song of theirs. And then I saw them for half, like, 10 minutes at Riot Fest. It was the best ten minutes of the entire day, but like, I know all, a lot of their music now and I just haven't had the chance to actually like, enjoy a full show, so. That's great. That's okay. That's actually all I have on my list. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. What artist is on your concert bucket list? And if you make videos here on YouTube, you guys should make this video and I would love to watch it because I love seeing who people would love to see in the future like that's just cool you guys should comment down below in the comment section who is on your concert bucket list because i would love to know maybe i need to add some more artists to my list but i've actually seen a lot of artists which is weird 